Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 1 of season 8 of Direwolf20's single player Let's Play series. It's been a long time. I actually just looked at season 7's episode 1 to reference, and it was literally about two years ago that I started the last single player Let's Play series. And it's time to start again. We are now playing on the beta version, which you guys don't have access to, of the Darwolf 20 mod pack, but it will be released today. The official release of Darwolf 20's 1.10 mod pack is coming out today, which should be, unless anything changes, Monday, November 14th. So you guys will have access to this pack today. And as a result, you've got this video to know all about what's in the pack, and we're gonna start the Let's Play series off. Um, as usual, we're going to be doing things like we've done in previous Let's Play seasons. So I'm going to create a new world, and then I'm going to immediately back it up and upload it somewhere so you guys can download it. So if you want to play in the same world that I'm playing in, you're more than welcome to. And then uh, what we'll do from there is uh, every 10 episodes, we'll release a world download. So episode 10, when it's done, new world download. You guys can have my world that I've built and play in it. So without further ado, let's get started on season 8 of Daryl 20's Let's Play series. So to kick things off, let's create a world. I'm gonna call it the Let's Play World. And uh, let's see, game mode can be survival. Um, more world options, generate structures on a seed. We're gonna call it Let's Play Season 8, Woot, with one, two, three, four zeros. Well, those are O's, capital O's. That sounds like a good world seed, right? Uh, world type can be default. We could do super flat, large biomes, amplified, customized, biomes of plenty, realistic. I'm gonna go with default. Uh, generate structures on, allow cheats off, bonus chest off, done. You guys ready? Survival mode, that's the settings we want. Create new world. Dun, dun, dun. I have no idea what this world look, is looking like, by the way. Like that's just, I completely just made up that seed. This is kind of how I do it at the beginning of every season. Completely fictional seed, just make something up on the spot, and we'll see what kind of world we get, and that's the world we're going to play in. Loading world, building terrain. The suspense is killing me. Here it comes. Doot, 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 doot. It's a void age! No, it's just kidding. <laughs> All right, cool. Looks like we're hanging out in some kind of tree biome. Looks like a... Uh... Ooh, taiga. Taiga biome. All right. Uh, so let's see. We got some stuff. To, ooh, is there a nice little biome right over there? Look at me. Achievement get. Taking inventory. Hooray. Got some books we'll talk about in a minute. Ooh, I see some beehives hanging out. You don't want to get too close to them. They sting. <gasps> all kinds of things. All kinds of things. You guys are already getting spoilers on what's in the pack. Thanks to all these things popping up telling me about new mod versions and whatnot. Oh, look at this nice little place. This might not be a bad place to call home for a little bit. It's like a small little secluded biome. Looks plains-ish. I assume it's plains. Yep, plains, but it's small. So there's a nice little tree area over here. This isn't terrible at all. This might be a nice biome to live in. Oh, look, there's a nice little snowy biome over there. Fancy. Oh, looks like we got a little sky island up there. This looks like a nice place to at least start off with calling home. So step one, I am now going to save and close this world and zip it up so that you guys have it so I can Download it, or you can download it. I'll upload it, you'll download it. So we'll be back in a minute after I go do that. All right guys, we're back. Hooray! Officially have the World Zero download available for you guys. So like I said, if you'd like to download my world, you can do so. All right, we're gonna start playing modded Minecraft in the exact same way that we play vanilla Minecraft, by punching trees. It's officially time to kick off season eight. I can't even tell you guys how excited I am to finally be able to start Season 8. It's been a long time coming. Like I said at the beginning of this episode. Oh, oh, I love it. I love it. You know, I questioned whether I wanted, like, the Rapid Tree Decay mod. I'm really glad that I did it just now. Like, at this moment, I'm just... Yeah, Rapid Tree Decay was a good idea, wasn't it? Um, so, yeah, it's been, like, two years since we've had a single-player Let's Play series. How crazy is that? Two years. That seems insane to me. Pretty amazing. Um, but the good news is, we have lots of wood now. And we can make ourselves a fancy little workbench. That we can get ourselves a pickaxe. 
Hooray! And then we'll take this with us. So I might start off, I'm looking at the map here. So I've got Journey Map installed, clearly. And you're gonna see lots of, like, beginning things. Oh look, there's a neat little, right through the other side of this, it looks like there's a bigger open plain area. I love living in plains biomes. They're kind of my favorite biome to have a base in. Because it's usually, like, pretty flat. Not too many trees that you have to clear. Like, if I built a base here, I'd have to spend a lot of time clearing trees, right? Which isn't the end of the world. But, you know, in a plains biome, it's already pretty clear and easy to build in. See? Yeah. This was a good call. Oh, look at that. I see a meteor in the background. Some interesting stuff. Ooh, let's get some stone wall in here. We're going to go over... So this episode's going to be pretty standard. We're going to gather some basic resources. We're going to talk about what mods are in the pack. And we're going to pretty much go from there. Um, we'll try and get some basic living quarters set up, maybe? Uh, maybe some basic modded tools or something? We'll see. I don't know. We'll see what we're going to get. Yeah. Yeah. This looks like a pretty nice place to hunker down and call home. Nice little lake here. Yeah, I definitely feel like this will do nicely. A um, couple things I might want to change, by the way, in the settings before we really get into this. I wouldn't mind playing on hard difficulty. That might be a challenge, especially with the new way mobs work and stuff, but let's do it. Let's go crazy. Um, I've already changed a couple other settings. Nothing too crazy. Uh, I'm definitely realizing that I'm hungry. Like, really hungry. Um... So I should probably hunker down and get myself a sword and a furnace. That's probably not the worst bit of things I can do. Because there just happens to be a lot of cows around here. Yay! Just a few cows to get a little bit of life started. Cool. I definitely like this area. This is a nice flat little spot. This might be where I call home. Uh, so what I think I'm going to do next is find a nice place to call a quarry or at least a mining area. Might start digging into this hill face over here and start making my way down. And that would not be a bad way to start, right? We could dig into that spot, work our way down, and then... Yeah, I like that idea. So let's get this... Okay, we'll pick up our furnace, and then we'll make our way in this direction. We've got some trees relatively nearby. Yeah, I like the sound of that. So here looks like a nice place to start digging into the wall. I'm not going to bother making a wooden shovel. I'm going to dig until I find stone, and then I will kind of clear out what's inside here. Let's talk about mods. Because we have actually a decent number of mods in the pack, some of which you may have never even heard of before. Um, and for that reason, I'd like to start talking to you guys about them. So while I start building out my little first cupboard here, we're going to talk mods. The very first mod, and I'm going to go in alphabetical order, because that's what's on the screen to my right. It's alphabetical order, so I'm going to read down the list. The very first mod is a mod that I've never played with before. It's a mod you guys have never seen on this channel. It's a mod that several people recommended I look at. I did look at, and I decided, you know what? This is a pretty cool mod. I like this mod. Um, and it is called Actually Additions. There's a bunch of neat stuff in Actually Additions. Um, it's got a little bit of a power system. It's got some item transfer stuff. It's got some energy relays. It's got all kinds of neat things. Um, it's got drills. There's some cool stuff in Actually Additions, and we're going to be taking a look at it as we go through the series. Yeah, neat stuff. Very cool. So we're going to take a look at Actually Editions. You guys have never seen it on this channel before. I'm excited to play with it. Um, so that's the first mod on the list. FYI. Boom, boom. And a shovel. That should be cool. Uh, we'll start using our pickaxe in a minute here. And I might want a stone axe at some point. So let's just go ahead and make it now. Cool. All right, uh, we probably want to cover up the doorway so that mobs can't get in, but I wouldn't mind a little bit of light leaking in for now until I find some coal and some torches. I could cook up some wood too if I wanted to into charcoal. We might do that. So that's the very first mod on the list. Actually, additions. Pretty excited about it. Um, I need to do a mod spotlight on it. I haven't done one yet. 
And that's usually where I do a lot of my learning how to use the mods is during my mod spotlights because I sit down with the mod author and I talk to them about, you know, how the mod works, what it does, exactly how the progression's supposed to work. Like, obviously, I can play through it. But actually, Editions actually also has uh, a book. It's in here somewhere, I'm sure. But there's a book that explains uh, how, the, how the mod works. Hey, there it is. That's the first thing. Um, so canola seeds and paper get you the actually Editions manual. So if... Uh, if I don't have a mod spot laid out and you want to see how that mod works, obviously, you know, check it out or check it out online, whatever. Whatever you want to do. The choice is yours. You have the power. Um, so this place is going to be a little base for a short period of time. And then I'm going to start digging down and mining. Um, so that's the main purpose here, right? Uh, let's talk about the next mod on the list, alphabetical order, Akashic Tome. You guys saw my mod spotlight, I hope, on uh, Akashic Tome. It's basically a mod whose sole purpose is to combine multiple books. So we'll probably look into that at some point. It's not a huge mod. It literally has one item called the Akashic Tome. Um, so yeah, that's a cool mod. If you guys didn't see my mod spotlight on it, you can basically have one item that contains all the many manuals. I've already got two in my inventory that I started with. So the fact that we're going to have uh, multiple manuals coming up, I already mentioned another mod that has one. You get the idea. Cool. So Akashic Tome was the next on the list. Uh, we've got Applied Energistics 2. Applied Energistics 2 is now officially available and out, if you guys missed the announcement on that. So 1.10, it was not ported by, um, by Algorithm, who was the original author, but it was ported by a group, and he, you know, did a little bit of talking to them and, and getting, you know, a few things in order. I haven't found cold just yet. I might pop outside real quick. It's getting dark. So Applied Energistics 2 is totally available right now, which is exciting. Uh, I'm excited to see that it was out. It, I had not heard that it was being worked on, so I wasn't sure if we were gonna see it in 1.10, and it literally came out just in time for my mod pack to get released. So I was like, yeah. So I tested it real quick, I talked to some of the people who were working on it, and it seemed like, A, it was pretty stable as it was, and the group that helped port it are pretty active. So I was very happy to hear that and see that. So, long story short, we've got Applied Energistics too, which I'm happy to say is a fact. Uh, let's throw some wooden planks in here in a second and get ourselves some coal so we can have some torches, some charcoal. The next mod on the list, um, I'm going to skip like libraries and stuff. So there's a mod called Auto RegLive, but that's a library. Bagginses. Bagginses is a cool mod. It adds bags that you can carry around. We actually have two bag mods. What you guys are going to find out pretty soon is there are multiple mods in this pack that have multiple purposes. And I'll explain why that is in just a minute. Back in a moment when this charcoal cooks up. Yay, torches. Nice. Um, so we've got Bagginses, which is a cool mod. Um, we also have light level overlays, which, you know, FYI, that's a thing. And it's a great thing. Hooray. Makes it very easy to see where light levels are dark and not dark. So um, light level overlays. There's an answer for you for another mod. That's not in alphabetical order. Sorry. Um, so we talked about Bagginses. Next up on the list is Baubles, which is a mod that a lot of other mods use. It gives you these extra uh, seven slots here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, in addition to your shield slot. Um, it basically are extra inventory slots that you can put nifty tools and gadgets in. And some of the mods that we have will use them. Next mod on the list, a mod that I hadn't played with until I started my Sky Factory series um, that I'm playing on Twitch is, by the way, that was definitely a plug for my Twitch channel, uh, is Better Builder's Wands. Sweet. So these wands, so there's a Builder's Wand that's available from Extra Utilities, but it's relatively expensive. Not too bad in this version, um, but Better Builder's Wands is a pretty neat wand mod that basically allows you to have a Builder's Wand a little bit earlier in the game for slightly cheaper resources. And then later on, you get even better ones uh, that can be upgraded to really be crazy. So Better Builder's Wands, definitely a neat mod, and I'm pretty excited to have it in the pack. Next mod on the list as we mine. Oh, there's coal. See, I should have just waited a few seconds and I would have found it. Next mod on the list is Biomes of Plenty. So Biomes of Plenty is a mod that lets uh, you add some biomes, and uh, it's a pretty cool mod, and I'm pretty excited to have it on the list. You guys should be familiar with Biomes of Plenty. Anybody who's seen or played in the Direwolf 20 pack in the last few versions, it's been in there. It's basically one that just adds new biomes. 
Blood Magic is in the pack. You guys should know Blood Magic as well. Blood Magic has come a long way since the 1.7.10 era, in which it was a very fun mod to play. It's got lots of new content and new additions. We played with it a lot on Forgecraft while we were testing the 1.8 series of mods. And, uh, I'm, you know, it, it's, it's one of my favorite Magic mods, and it definitely has a lot of new content. And there's new stuff that Way of Time is either currently working on, or it might even be in this version, but it's super coming soon if it's not. And, uh... There's just some really good content that's that's about to come out with it. A whole new system for manipulating all kinds of good stuff. And look, I'm finding copper from Industrial Craft. Nice. Copper is going to be a resource that we're going to get uh, some good stuff out of. So that's cool to see. Very cool. All right, next mod on the list, um, Batania. Another magic mod, all based around flowers. Yay. Batania is a good mod. You guys know it's one of my... I mean, it's one of my favorite mods. It really is. I think it's a really good mod, and it's a lot of fun to play with. Um, Batania is a mod that's all about magic and doing cool stuff, and uh, it's like a magic slash tech mod. People always question, like, what is it, a magic mod or a tech mod? It's really kind of both, because um, it's got a technical progression like a lot of tech mods, but it's magic in, in, in its concepts. So it's fun. It's cool. I like it. Oh, man, I can already hear spiders outside and some dangerous stuff happening. Better wait till daytime. Look, you can see the mobs on the map. It's so cool. Loving it. All right. Uh, next mod on the list. We talked about Batania. Uh, let's talk about Chisel. Chisel's a good mod. There's two mods that are named Chisel. One of them is Chisel, which adds a bunch of uh, nifty-looking blocks to the game. Definitely cool. You can see some limestone right here that's coming from Chisel. Um, so that's just a nice mod for people who like to build fancy structures, who build way nicer than I build. But I'm going to try. I always try. I try to make things that look nice, and Chisel's going to help. So chisel blocks are very cool. Uh, so we've got chisel in 1.10, which is awesome. We've also got chisel and bits, uh, which those of you who haven't seen chisel and bits, um, prepare to have your mind blown. I'm not a great builder, and I'm not great with it, but, uh, you know, it's a really cool mod. It lets you basically break down every block in the game into individual bits. So, like, pretty much every pixel that exists on the block can be chiseled out and placed in the world separately. It's very, very cool, um, and it's a really impressive mod. Uh, the next one on the list, we've got some libraries, some code chicken core stuff, because we've got some stuff. We've got compact solars, which is a mod that's an add-on to industrial craft. Basically allows you to have some compact solar panels. It's a, it's a mod that's been a staple in the Direwolf 20 pack for a long time. I mean, pretty much since, I don't even know how long compact solars has been in the pack, but it's been a long time. Um, we've got dark utilities another brand new mod to the pack one that we've never seen or played with before dark utilities is cool um it adds just a few blocks but they're definitely pretty neat um a couple nifty little tricks sneaky blocks like uh fake tnt i think that is um so a couple little things but there's some other cool stuff that's really nice for mob grinders there's these things which are vector plates they kind of work like um they're pretty simple and straightforward to use oh i'm getting tin for the first time nice Pretty simple and straightforward um, usage for pushing mobs around. Like, mobs that stand on it get pushed forward. Um, and I, I played with it a little bit and said, yeah, this mod is cool. It's like a little, one of those little, like, has a couple cool nifty little items. Not like a full-blown tech tree mod like Batania or something like that, right? Or Blood Magic, where there's like a whole bunch of progression. It's one of those mods that just adds a bunch of neat little things, uh, which is cool. Item grates, mob filters, neat stuff. We'll, we'll check it out as we go through. So that's Dark Utilities. We've also got Deep Resonance, um, which is a mod that generates energy in the form of RF. So it's one of those RF energy-based mods. It, it, it's a generator mod. Uh, if you haven't seen Deep Resonance in my Forgecraft series or, or the Mod Spotlight, definitely check them out. But we'll be using that for energy at some point in the game. Just a reminder, Deep Resonance does cause pollution in the world. And uh, that's scary stuff, so watch out for it. So yeah, this is pretty much what episode one is about. For those of you who've never seen a Let's Play series from me before, um, I do not mine on camera um, outside of episode one usually. We might do a little bit of mining here and there, but most of episode one is about getting the basic foundation of your base and everything set up. And obviously mining is a big part of that. So right now we're we're mining down, we're at like right on Y level 20s. I like to get to around Y level 10 so I can start mining. And then I have several um, layers that I mine. So I'll do like the iron level, uh, so speaking of iron, wow, great coincidental timing there. Iron's nice to have right now. So yeah, we can get the iron level going, get some iron, get some coal while we're doing that. So that's what episode one's usually about, mining. 
I do not mind on camera outside of episode one, like I said. So um, we usually edit that out. But this is what the time I use to talk about all the mods that we got going on. Next mod that's in the pack is a mod that a lot of people have requested. A mod that has some really cool stuff. It's being completely rewritten for 1.10, so a lot is changing from 1.7. Um, in its current setup, it's pretty cool and fun to play with, um, and I really want to see where it goes. It's an endgame mod, and it's called Draconic Evolution. We do officially have Draconic Evolution in the pack. Next mod to talk about, one of my favorite tech mods, especially in existence in 1.10, is Ender.io. So we have Ender.io, obviously, in the pack. It's got a, it's a great tech mod if you've never played with it. It's got some really good item transfer pipes, redstone conduits, fluid conduits, all kinds of good stuff conduit-wise. Um, it's got a whole progression system, a bunch of machines and functionality, mob capturing and spawning. I mean, it's, it's, it's the bee's knees, to be totally honest with you. It's a great, great mod. Next up on the list, Ender Storage. You guys have not seen this on Forgecraft yet, but there's a couple people who are working on porting some of the old Chicken Bones mods that haven't been ported for 1.10, and they're just getting around to being released, I think, and they're actually doing some really good work. So Ender Storage is back, and it's available for 1.10, and it's in the pack. So how cool is that? I'm excited. We've also got Extra Utilities 2. Just did a mod spotlight on Extra Utilities 2. Another one of those mods that doesn't have a straight up progression system. There's a little bit of progression in Extra Utilities 2, but not a whole ton. Um, and it's just a good good mod. Has a bunch of cool utility items, a bunch of nifty stuff in it, and we'll obviously be playing with Extra Utilities 2 a bunch. Fast Leaf Decay, we already saw that exists, right? Just makes it so that the leaves decay quickly when you chop down trees just saves you the trouble of sitting there and waiting for the leaves to drop. Love it. Uh, next up, flat colored blocks. So this is a mod that goes along with, it only has one item, but once you got that item, it lets you craft flat colored blocks, which there's literally like, like hundreds if not thousands of blocks that are just a flat color. And it's really nice to use with chisel and bits. So that's what we're talking about. So I just hit Y level 10. So I'm going to clear out a little area down here. Ten's usually where I like to mine when I'm after diamonds. One thing that I want to show you guys, and it's part of the... Let's see, where are we at? We're at F, so we'll get there in a minute. Um, let's talk about some other mods before we talk about the thing I was going to talk about. That's cool. Um, so we've got Forestry. Forestry is a mod that's been around since 125 even? Yeah, if not earlier than 125. I think 125 was the first iteration of Forestry. Definitely a cool mod. Bees. Everybody loves bees, right? Um, but there's also... You know, a farming system. There's a bunch of cool stuff in forestry um, that we'll definitely be taking a look at. FTB Utilities is a mod that currently I've kind of toned down some of the settings for, but um, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do with FTB Utilities. It's very useful on servers because you can use it to claim chunks and chunk load chunks and limit how many chunks players can chunk load. It's a great server utility mod. I don't think there's a lot that FTB Utilities can do in single player. Um, to be fair, I don't fully know all the things that FTB Utilities can do, so that might be a lie, but definitely good for server owners. And since I am playing this pack, what's this? Oh, nickel. Nice. Uh, I am playing this on um, single player, obviously, but for those of you who want to download the pack and play it on a server, FTB Utilities is totally there. Um, gravestone mod, very good mod. Does exactly like it says on the tin. When you die, you leave a gravestone behind instead of your item spilling in the world. Super nice um, mod. Another good one that I know a lot of people like, Immersive Engineering. Totally in the pack, of course. Uh, immersive Engineering, another tech mod built on multi-blocks. So pretty much every machine in Immersive Engineering is a multi-block structure that comes together to build giant machines with a whole bunch of cool, nifty abilities. What's the outside world look like right now? I don't even know what time it is. Let's get ourselves another pickaxe. Sweet. It's daytime. It's kind of what I was hoping for. Uh, I wouldn't mind planting a couple oak saplings. Oak's my, you know, wood of choice. Kind of my favorite. Get a little impromptu tree farm going on here. So one. That'll do. Uh, while I'm out here, though, I might want to chop down a few more trees. If I can find an apple tree, that would be good. Next mod on the list. Industrial craft, of course. We've already seen the ores from it. Um, definitely one of the oldest tech mods in existence. A very cool mod, of course. Um, 
lots of functionality, a lot of fun to play with. So Industrial Craft, no doubt, would be in this pack. Nobody should be surprised by the existence of Industrial Craft. We've also got Inventory Sorter. It's a mod by CPW that makes it so you can middle click to sort your inventory and do some other cool inventory manipulation that just vanilla Minecraft doesn't have. It's a nice, nice to have mod. Um, we've got Iron Backpacks. Iron Backpacks is a cool mod. Uh, it basically adds backpacks with some additional upgrades and options that you can play with. I'll be doing a mod spotlight on it eventually. Um, so that's another one that's new to the pack, does not have a mod spotlight out there for it. You guys have never seen it or seen me play with it before. I mean, maybe you've seen it. I don't know. You might have seen it, but you haven't seen it on my channel. <laughs> I've never played with it. But uh, again, a mod that was recommended to me. So you've got two backpack mods, Direwolf. Baggins is an iron backpacks. So why would you do that? Well... My mod pack is all about giving players a choice to play how they want to play. So I gave you two different mods that do similar things, uh, and you get to just choose which one of those two mods you would like to use. Um, if you decide that you like the way Bagginses does things, cool. If you decide you like the way Iron Backpacks does things, cool. I'm not going to tell you how to play Minecraft. You play Minecraft the way you want to play Minecraft. And I'll play Minecraft the way I want to play Minecraft. And at the end of the day, everybody's going to have a good old time. Uh, so I'm just sorting some of my stuff right now. I'm going to have two chests for the start. Um, resources and, and important stuff to keep. Um, and then miscellaneous junk. Um, stuff that I'm not super worried about having. Um, I should have a slightly less important chest. So maybe one more chest. That can be like middle tier. So there's like total junk, which is this stuff. Which, frankly, at this point, cobblestone is not junk. It's a nice building material early game. Um, and then I'll have another chest for like saplings and this stuff um that's cool and maybe even my modded books sweet all right continuing on the list while we go mining again um yeah we can go mining again have a little dinner where was i at iron backpack so iron chests you just saw it when i did add iron so iron chests another staple mod in the pack nobody should be surprised adds chests that get bigger based on iron and gold and diamond tiers and such very cool mod CPW originally made it. JEI, the mod that I'm using to look things up in. Recently did a mod spotlight on JEI. If you haven't checked it out, you should. Um, it's 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 the spiritual successor to the item lookup features of NEI and TMI, old uh, old mods that uh, NEI is around again. I think somebody ported it, but JEI is um, you know, that's the one I just chose for the pack. That that's not an example of like hey play how you want. Like that's that's a that's a mod that doesn't add content to the world. So. JEI was the choice. We've also got Journey Map, which we already talked about. Nice little mapping system mod. Super cool. Definitely, in my opinion, one of the best uh, ma uh, maps available. Um, light level overlay. Hit F4 and you can see the light levels of blocks. Uh, anything in red, mobs can spawn in. Anything in green, they can't. Um, and it also shows you the numerical light level. Cool. So starting at 14 and then expanding outwards. Super nice mod. Um, let's see. What else do we got? We got some other stuff. Um, skipping over, like I said. So we've got MC Multipart. I don't know if that actually has any items in the game. It's more of an API for, for people to be able to do multi-block stuff. Cool. So now that we've got kind of like a base down here, let's let's start branching out a little bit. Doing a little bit of mining. Oh, good. I can turn off my overlay, by the way. Um, we've got Morpho Tool which is like the Akashic Tome, but for tools. Basically, specifically for wrenches. Um, so Morpho Tool, super nice. Lets you basically uh, combine multiple wrenches and, and wrench-like items from different mods into one blocks, or one item. And then you can carry them around and it auto-switches. I have a Mod Spotlight on it, you should check it out. Not Enough Wands, Mod Spotlight I recently did. Add some wands to the game, they're configured for RF power. So, uh, long story short, you need to power them with RF, and then you can do some cool stuff. We'll be definitely playing with a couple of those wands. Next mod in the pack, a computer-based mod, Open Computers. Another one that I need to spotlight. So, ComputerCraft exists for, I think, 194, but it's in an alpha state. And I don't know that Dan200 has had a lot of time right now, because he just released his own new game on Steam called Redirection, which I did a video on, which you should check out if you haven't. Um, and long story short, he hasn't had the time to work on ComputerCraft. So I, you know, kind of pinged him and said, hey, what's Black Quartz Ore from Actually Editions? Cool. Don't know what that's for. No idea. Couldn't tell you. 
Hopefully it's rare and super amazing that I got it, but I don't know for sure. Lead from Industrial Craft, extra cool. Uh, so basically Open Computers is another computer, Lua programmable computer. Um, it does things very differently from Computer Craft, where Computer Craft was very simple and basic and meant more focused around programming. Uh, Open Computers is more focused around um, like balance in the world, right? Like computer craft was never balanced. With a little bit of stone and redstone, you could have a computer. Um, open computers has a lot more um, in-game playability to it, I think, where computer craft was more around like, let's just let you have a computer and learn programming. So it's definitely a different approach and I'm really excited to kind of play with it. Um, so yeah, we'll definitely be checking out open computers as we go through. By the way, episode one's gonna be a little bit longer than usual because I'm doing a little bit of mining, talking to you guys about what mods are in the pack and kind of going from there. Um, let's talk some more about mods in the pack. Speaking of, Psy. Definitely a cool mod. You guys remember Psy, right? It was a mod that surfaced, I think, in 1.8. Psy was first developed. Um, adds, like, it's kind of like programming, but not really. It's not, there's no code to it, but it, it lets you manipulate the world with some really powerful guns. It's a really neat mod by Vasky. And uh, another mod by Vasky in the pack is Quark. So Quark is a mod that that modifies some vanilla features. And as little as I know about vanilla, I couldn't even tell you what half the features of Quark are. All I know is it's really cool and adds some good stuff. <gasps> it's dark out. Hide. To-do list includes getting wool so that I can make a bed. Yay for resources. Um, definitely need to do a little bit more mining. But while I'm up here, I might as well craft a couple more pickaxes. Should I start smelting some iron so that I can mine a little bit faster? I think the answer is yes. Um, so let's make something that'll help us. Uh, quartz grindstone. I haven't found any quartz yet, have I? Nether quartz or Certus quartz crystals. If I had found some quartz, that would have been cool. Um, I almost want to wait until I find some quartz if I can sooner than later. That would be nice. Um, let's look up quartz. So Certus Quartz is found. Oh, you don't have your your layers? That's interesting. Let's say iron. Can we see what? Interesting. So I thought there was a way to look up um, with JEI the ore distribution. I have to double check that though. Next one in the pack. Let's go down to like this level because I think this is a good place to find some iron ore or some quartz ore. Or any kind of ore, really. Um, Railcraft. Railcraft just got released within the last week or two or three. Um, oh, that's right. I was going to make another thing. Let's make another one of these dudes to carry around with us. And then I can make another pickaxe. Yoink. So Railcraft just got released, which is awesome. And I'm excited to see. Um, super cool mod. Adds a bunch of functionality to rails. Ooh, marble. Nice. So, uh, and carts and all kinds of other cool stuff. So Railcraft, definitely a staple of the pack. You guys have seen them before. Ranged Pumps is a mod that simply adds like one item. The Ranged Pump. It's pretty cool. It's an RF powered pump that um, works like the old pump from Extra Utilities, where it just kind of um, pumps up liquid and, and does a good job. So um, it's great for like pumping liquid and lava out of the nether. So nifty little mod, ranged pumps. Refined storage in the pack. So you guys, a lot of people have been asking, is it gonna be Applied Energy 6.2 or is it gonna be refined storage? And hey, look what I just found. Nice, Certus Quartz Ore, thank you. Did I get enough of it? I got exactly four, that is awesome. Well, that's cool, I was lucky. That was a lucky find. Um, so refined storage is very similar to Applied Energistics 1. It's like Applied Energistics in that it's an item storage mod, um, but it doesn't have the channel system that Applied Energistics 2 does. And it's, 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 it's an amazing mod. If you have checked out my mod spotlight on it, you should probably know um, what it's all about. And in my opinion, it's a really, really well-developed mod. I think it's super cool. Um, and I wanna see it get some good play. Um, because the mod author, Raul, did amazing work on it, in my opinion. Um, so that said, I'm really excited to have it in the pack. And you guys are probably going to question and say, why would you have two mods in the pack that do the same thing? And the answer is the answer that I gave you before. Um, because I want you to be able to play the way you like. Some people really like the complexity added by the channel system of Applied Energistics. Some people don't. And that's cool. 
you're allowed to play Minecraft however you want. Um, so I've got Applied Energistics and I've got Refined Storage. And you guys are more than welcome to play however you want. So let's get some iron. So I've got a very manual way to double my iron by holding right click. Do, 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 do. And it will grind slowly but surely this iron ore into iron ore dust. And I'm not going to do this on camera for the next 10 minutes because that's probably about how long it would take uh, to grind up all that stuff. But that's the answer, right? So refined storage is in the pack. Applied Energy 6.2 is in the pack. You guys should feel free to play however you want to play. And that's my point of view. So um, I think that's pretty cool. Also, refined storage can do some stuff that applied energistics can't do, and applied energistics can do some stuff that refined storage can't do. So I suspect that we'll be using both throughout this series. Um, the next one we've got in the pack, RF tools. Cool mod, adds a lot of cool technological features. RF tools dimensions, RF tools control. I did a whole long series of spotlights on these things, and they are definitely awesome. All right. so. Time for some iron pickaxes. Boom. That's what's up. I know how to play this game. I promise. I promise I know how to play Minecraft. Cool. Cool. All right. Um, we're getting close to the wrapping up point of the episode. Officially, we're past it. But I do want to finish up the mod list and um, get situated in my base. So let's talk about the next mod on the list, which is storage drawers. Storage Drawers is a mod that you've probably seen me use um, quite a bit and uh, basically allows you to store items in a storage drawer network. Super cool mod, lots of fun to play with. Um, right now I think I'm going to want bauxite, huh? I'm sure I'll take some bauxite. Mostly what I want right now is more iron because I would like to get some infrastructure up and running in the next episode or two. So that's probably what we'll be looking at getting. You are not the thing I expected to be in that inventory slot. Um, so storage drawers is there. Super Circuit Maker, a mod that's been highly anticipated. Super Circuit Maker allows you to make your own custom circuits. Super awesome mod. Um, it's like the chisels and bits of redstone. Um, and it's amazing. I have a mod spotlight up on it, as I mentioned. Uh, so check it out if you haven't. Cool. Uh, we've also got Tinker's Construct, of course. Tinker's allows you to make some really nice tools. We'll be getting into that pretty soon. It'll probably be one of the first mods we get into because making Tinker's tools will make um, mining a breeze. Um, and then we've got the One Probe, another mod by McJD, the author of RF Tools and stuff. It's like Whala on your screen here, like I've got on the top in the middle, which we'll be talking about in a sec. It's the next mod on the list, I think. But it uh, basically adds an item that allows you to get more detailed information about things that you're looking at in the world. So that's pretty cool. Whala, Whala Harvestability, and Walla, W-A-W-L-A, -A, um, basically mods that are adding up at the top here. Um, it's super nice to have because it tells you Whala stands for what am I looking at. That's pretty much what it stands for. That's a fact. And um, it tells you information about um, the blocks that you're looking at in the world. So you can see what mod they come from um, and a couple other nifty pieces of information. Good time to find coal, by the way, because I just ran out of torches. Tiny coal. That's neat. Oh, that's right. Tiny coal is from Actually Editions. It, um, so a piece of coal has a burn time of eight items. Tiny coal can burn one item, and you get eight of them per coal. How cool is that, huh? Actually Editions. There you go. One of the first items that uh, could do some benefit for us. So it's a nice way to use coal in a furnace without wasting it, um, which I think is super cool. We're going to go demonstrate that upstairs right now because I'm going to want to smelt something. Um, so those are the mods in the pack as it stands right now. There's no telling what mods might be added to 1.10 in the near future that we might add to the pack. But as the pack stands, that is what it is. Definitely a lot of cool mods. I'm very excited. Uh, one of the mods that's probably not on the list right now that everybody's wondering about, I know for a fact because it's the mod that I am most asked about, is Thaumcraft. Where's Thaumcraft? Thaumcraft isn't out yet, guys. Sorry. Sorry to say, but it's just not out yet. Um, but it's expected to be out, so Thaumcraft is being worked on by Asinor. Spoke to him recently. He said maybe by the end of the year. He's hoping. Um, so the decision point was, do I wait until Thaumcraft is out? No. I don't want to wait another month or two to release this pack. So the pack is now available for you guys. It should be out, if not already by the time you're watching this video, a little bit later today. Um, you can go download it. The world download that I have right here will be available to you. So check this out. One piece of tiny coal per smelting operation. Going to be awesome. But yes, the, um, the pack should be available for you later today, if not already.
Wow, that's perfectly one. That's awesome. All right, for now, we're going to wrap up episode one. Like I said, we don't do a lot of mining on camera after episode one. Uh, it's just my opportunity to spend time talking to you guys about what's in the pack, what to expect. We've got a lot of cool stuff to do and play with this season. New mods that we've never played with before that I'm actually really interested in trying out. Um, and hey, I got actually editions book. Cool. I got that for uh, crafting something. Yay. Looks cool. All right, we'll be playing with that, definitely. For now, Daryl20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed episode one of season eight. I'm super psyched, and I hope you guys are too for the rest of the season because it's going to be awesome. All right, guys, take it easy.